it's a hazy, low visual day. You're flying along and you contact Tower and tell them you can't see the runway. They tell you they can't see you either, but you tell them you're flying around the tower and hoping to get vectored onto the runway. Minutes later, Banning Airport gets a phone call. Hey, we have an aircraft flying around our tower. Do you know anything about this? Well, Banning has no tower and long story short, the aircraft was actually flying around the casino tower. This actually happened according to Mike who manages the FBO and Unicom at Banning Airport. Banning Airport is located in an area that pilots know as the Banning Pass. It consists of two mountain ranges that create a funnel where it's pretty typical to have 20 to 30 knot winds. He shared that on days the winds come from the north like Santa Ana winds. They create an effect where they come over the north mountains, hit the side of the south mountains, creating really severe rotors. Mike shared another story. A Cessna 152 pilot called in and said that he could literally see cars driving faster than he was flying because of those headwinds. Because of how consistent winds are here, some instructors send their students to Banning Airport to practice windy landings. So a student came on a cross country. It was apparently too windy for the student to land that day. When the instructor asked the student if he landed, the student said, yeah, of course. The instructor then called Mike and the student confessed he did not. With most traffic here being small general aviation, you might be wondering why does it need a 5,000 foot long, 100 foot wide runway that's also inclined. Like many airports in SoCal, this was used during World War II and General Patton actually had a lot to do with the building of the runways. On June of 2023, it was voted by the city to close the airport. Now there are still many hurdles for that to happen, like how they're going to repay the grants the FAA has already provided. But if you would like to know more information, visit Friends of Banning Airport on Facebook. I found it to be pretty helpful on the airport's current status.
Now, don't do what I did. I was apparently taxiing over the parking spots, but it's kind of hard to tell because there are no markings on the ground. But they do have tie down chains. This is one of those cheaper fuel airports, so it's actually a pretty good stop in case you need to fill up. Checklist time. If you guys found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you don't want to miss our next one to some random airport we go to, please subscribe. If you have any questions about this airport, leave a comment. But even better, just fly here and talk to Mike. He knows everything. Checklist complete. Mike told us a final story about the Goodyear blimp, which I will not ruin. But guess who showed up? Mm -hmm.